Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cece and if you are new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So last week I did a no sew key fob wristless tutorial and right here I just want to show you how to sew a key fob wristlet. If you enjoy sewing, then this video is for you. So let's get started. So I've got my fabric here and these are already cut to 12 by 4 in inches as well as the fusible interfacing. These are fusible interfacing and I will link everything under the description box in case you guys want to check them out. So you will feel one side is pretty smooth and then the other side will have these tiny dots on them and those are actually the adhesive which it will be infused once it meets the heat from your iron. So I will go ahead and grab the fabric and I'm going to place the interfacing on top of the fabric and just make sure that the interfacing rough side is facing the wrong side of the fabric. I'm going to grab the iron and press. And once you're done with one spot, you can see that the interface had infused into your fabric. Now I'm just going to press section by section to continue infusing the interfacing into your fabric. I'm just going to show you how it looks like so you know what to expect when using fusible interfacing. So I'll go ahead and finish the pressing so we can go to the next step. Now I'm going to fold the fabric in half. And press. Then fold this part in half. And then press. Now do the other side, fold, and press. Now I'm just going to fold this in half and do the last press to get that good crease. Then just press. Now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and do a straight stitch all around the fabric. So now I'm just going to determine which side of the fabric that I would like to fold to show the better side pattern of my fabric. Then we're going to fold it in half. And this is the keychain hardware which I'm going to place it inside the mouth of these special pliers. So I'm going to insert the fabric between the hardware and there's a couple of teeth back there so just make sure that your fabric is centered before you squeeze. Once you feel your fabric is on the right spot, go ahead and squeeze. And I'm just giving it a little tug right there and as you can see it's not going to go anywhere. You guys, I had so much fun making these. They are so cute. And I have to say, they are pretty strong. You're going to love it. This would be great gifts to give to friends and families. You can personalize them if you'd like. These would be great stocking stuffers for Christmas. And there you go. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment. And so for the next video, it will be how to make Santa Cam glitter ornament. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.